Chief of the Watch on the 1MC, pass the word. Dive, dive, sound two blasts of dive alarm, pass the word, dive, dive. Dive, dive. Alright, so it is April 30th, 2020. The time is approximately 10.30 a.m. I am outside the Collinsville Police Department in Collinsville, Illinois. Uh, the wind may be bad. This is my first video ever. so We're going to see if the lobby is open here to the public. See if I can't do a FOIA request. So, let's see how this goes. Close, close, close. Is Kelly Wilkie available? Kelly's not working today. Oh, she's not. Could I get a, do you have a FOIA request for her? Is she the one I, I just email it to her? Yeah, you can. Okay. I went online and it's a, there's a PDF format. Yeah. I didn't know if, if you had like a Word document or something that I can edit online and then just send it instead of having to print it, copy it. I think you can send it electronically through the website. You don't have to print it. And... Well, it was PDF and it wouldn't let me make any updates to it, right? Really? Yeah, I don't know anything about um, okay. how all that works. And she's not back until Monday morning. Okay. Yeah, it's got the email address and everything on there. Sounds good. All right, I appreciate okay. it. No problem. Bye. All right, so that went fine. At least she saw the camera. We'll look back at the footage, see if she made eye contact with it. All right, so what I'll do is I'll fill out the form. I'll just take a picture of it then. Then I'll be able to just include it on an email. Stay anonymous that way. Take a trip around here. Just to take a look at the facility. I mean, it's, it's a new building. It's rather nice. The wind's a little heavy, so I don't know what that's going to do. Again, it's a new experience for me, so. Uh, I, did, I forgot to sign on as this is Navy Nuke Audits. Again, we're at the Collinsville Police Department. In Collinsville, Illinois. Let's cut through here. Doesn't look like she told anybody to follow me or anything. So I've never had any interaction. I've lived here in the city for. Uh, this is what, July of 2013, so this is about seven years. No interaction with the police, never been pulled over or anything, so not really sure how they are. Uh, the FOIA request I want to put in is, I'd like to see the emails, both sent and received, from the chief of police, this is Chief Evans, and the assistant chief of police is uh, Borm. But I'd like to see 
from about April 20th till today, any emails with the, some keywords in the subject line, such as Governor Pritzker, home, face, and mask. The purpose of this is I had sent Assistant Chief Borm, who is the acting, I guess acting, <laughs> we don't get a lot of publicity around here, so he's a public information officer. But that was on Friday evening. So it definitely hasn't been five business days if he's treating it like a, an Illinois FOIA request. But I'm just curious of how they're going to enforce this new stay-at-home order that the governor issued that takes effect on May 1st through May 30th, where he states that all citizens must wear a face mask. All businesses must require customers to have a face mask to enter. So I was curious of how they're going to enforce it, what statue they're going to use. seen recently there's a representative just east of here fortunately I'm not in his district but representative Bailey who actually filed suit against the governor and for him that is unconstitutional because the Illinois Constitution clearly states the governor has 30 days in the event of emergencies pass whatever executive orders are needed for public safety and to recover from that emergency but now he's I think this is the third one he's put out now so he just keeps extending it like it's okay to do even though the Illinois Constitution clearly states you have 30 days for a specific emergency so the emergency was this COVID outbreak pandemic But I don't know. We'll see how this went. I'm on my way home now.